pretty cool spot actually for Old Sacramento uh, because this is where the, the eastward leg of the Pony Express originated from. The first one was out of here in 1860. That's pretty crazy when you think about it. This one was, what was the date? 18 something? 1875, one of the first wood burning engines that they used to build the railroad. And then they later converted to coal, but I couldn't imagine burning wood and getting this thing to go. And then the luggage thing, the baggage, you were only allowed 100 pounds per person. So you figure when these people were going across country and going for long stays, 100 pounds doesn't go very far for people, especially for women. You want to telegraph me? You call someone. That little typewriter, you type a message and then you send it to someone. Couldn't call someone. Didn't have um. emojis and stuff. Look at this train. This train is a beast. This thing is insane. Imagine this thing just powering down the tracks. Holy smokes. Just full speed. What a freaking piece of machinery. Kind of cool, the uh, Delta King, whatever the paddle boat is, is a uh, restaurant and a hotel. You can actually stay on the boat, it's kind of cool. That is the candy store of all candy stores. If you're in old, old Sacramento, go check that out on the corner if you like candy, man. Everything, even stuff from when I was a child. It's kind of cool. All right, back at it. Final day of pool play. Uh, back at the uh, Davis soccer field. Got a matchup against a team that uh, I think the girls, girls can do good against. So gotta get a win and we'll get into the finals tomorrow morning. Syncing up with some uh, heart rate belts and stuff to uh, check out performance while on the field. It does speed, it does distance, it does heart rate, it does uh, activity levels. Pretty cool uh, system. Uh, the team that I have, so we're Arsenal South, it then just shows the players, so these are the five belts that we have. Yep. I just hit connect and start training, so the phone is now searching for the belts. Um, so this, so it's tapping into the Bluetooth right now. Uh, let me do that again. Tapping into the Bluetooth like, right now. You? You're like, you are not running fast enough. <laughs> you like, oh
Listen, girls, the work rate, okay, the heart you put into it, okay, is what got you into it, what, what got that win, right? Okay, you work for each other, okay, you work for yourselves, okay, and there you are. Okay, congrats, you're in the final. Okay, let's win the final, and let's get Addy to Colorado, right? Yes. Yep. So what a game, 2-1 victory to the very end. <laughs> Yeah, the, the ref the ref was a wild one from the start. You could tell. He was an AR on the field behind us, just firecracker screaming, going on the field, like, you know, just taking over the center refing position on the game prior. And then this game, you know, he was super, super firecracker mode. And then Addy gets a play at the end and, and, you know, just goes into a girl at the sideline. It's not a red card play at all. It's a yellow card for sure. She's not last man, nothing like that. Ref pulls out ref pulls out a red and uh, takes Addy out. A little bit of an issue then because we're back to no subs tomorrow in the final. Addy had to make the play because so she had to do what she had to do. Unfortunately, it turned into a red. You know, the coach came over and was an a-hole. They're super soft, the team. They gotta be from NorCal because I've never seen a team take water so often in Little Cups, the coach running water to the girls during the, it's not that hot. I don't know if it's because we're from SoCal and we're just conditioned to play in heat or what, but it's a soft team. It was just, it was, it was tough, dude. It's a, that's a tough way to end it, but girls are in the final. So, I mean, they have an opportunity to win this thing and go to Colorado and get a national championship. So, looking forward to it tomorrow morning, bright and early.